Hey guys, Ray here, welcome to the channel. I like to explore power options when the power goes out. So I haven't cleaned these panels off in over a year. So today we're gonna see how much extra energy I can gain if I have clean solar panels versus dirty solar panels. So one benefit of having a ground mount over solar panels on your roof is you can go out with a broom or a brush and clean them off fairly easily. But who knows, maybe cleaning the solar panels really won't help that much. But we're gonna give it a try for this test. And I'm also gonna go over some other ways that you can increase energy from your solar panels if you have shading, which I have some shading on these. Yesterday's day I received 34 kilowatt hours. This day had a little bit of clouds, but this has kind of been the standard for the last week and a half. It's always been really close to this number. If I look at my inverter here, I'm getting a little bit of power, but the day solar really hasn't started yet. So today is Wednesday about 10 a.m. Let's go clean those solar panels off. Now, if I look at the forecast for the week, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, they should be really similar. Hopefully we can get more after we get the solar panels cleaned. Okay, so this is just a RV cleaning broom that you attach a hose to the back. So just water is coming out and I'm really just brushing off the dirt uh, off the solar panels. So these solar panels are called DC coupled solar panels, meaning they don't have micro inverters on the back of them and the power of the solar panels goes directly into the inverter that I have connected to my house. Now, I do have a lot of different videos on how to connect different inverters to uh, your house if you wanna save money on your power bill and have emergency power when the power goes out. And I also have batteries connected to my house. It's been pretty fun with these different projects. But uh, yeah, one thing I have problems with is shading on these solar panels. So if you look on the right hand side, I do have a little rectangle for my kids zip line platform. And that is really shutting down the seven panels on the right. Maybe 80% or 90% of the production is uh, lost because of that. And then on the left hand side, I have another seven solar panels. Those are in series and I have uh, shade from the pine trees. I need to clear off, cut those pine trees a little bit, but that shuts down production in the morning. Now, what I can do is I can uh, connect what's called DC optimizers, and maybe I'll do that in a separate video to see how much those help or if they really help with the shading. Or I could install microinverters as well to these, but I do lose a little bit of efficiency with microinverters because it goes from DC to AC and then back to DC into my battery, but that might be a future video. Okay, so the solar panels are all clean. The sun's coming out a little bit more, and I do have a little tiny bit of shade st still on that square. Okay, so I have five kilowatt hours of power. Most of it's um, not running my house. Most of it's going right into my batteries. With that five kilowatts runs consistently for an hour, that will be five kilowatt hours of energy. These batteries can hold 15 kilowatt hours of energy each. So that'll be three hours to charge this one up and another three hours to charge this one up. Now, when the sun, when it gets warmer throughout the day, my air conditioner is eventually gonna turn on. So I'm not gonna qu get quite that much in the batteries. I should probably add some extra solar to my array back here. Okay, it's been about an hour and that uh, shade is now off of the solar panels and now it looks like we have 5.6 kilowatts coming in okay let's see what the numbers are so the day's number just got cleared out from before but I can calculate it from this number here for 6.6 .6 minus what the day was before which was 612 drum roll we got a total of 35.6. So not a whole lot more. Hmm. Okay, I went ahead and gave it another day to run just to get another data point. So between here and here, it is about a 2.5% gain. So let's go ahead and see what we got for this day. So this day was actually 102 degrees. So we might lose a little bit of efficiency, but we'll see. 683.4 watt hours. And yesterday the watt hours were 646.6. And that is 36.8. 
So that's very interesting. So that's a little bit better jump than I was expecting today, but maybe the air was a little bit more clear. But it does look like I'm consistently getting a little bit more with clean panels. So how does this translate to money in my pocket? So if I get between one and one and a half kilowatt hours extra per day, in Utah the price of a kilowatt hour is 15 cents. So that'll give me a cost savings of about $50 to $75 a year in savings. So not that much, but it did only take me about seven minutes to clean those panels. So that's a pretty good rate. Now, if you wanna get into solar, you don't need to get some fancy solar array like I had in my backyard. When I just started this channel, I literally was sitting solar panels up against the fence, running wires in, and I was connected to my home electrical panel with a very, very basic inverter. And it was really easy to install. I've got videos on that. I've got a bunch of other videos on different types of inverters if you wanna see some different options for that. In the future, I would really like to try out the uh, DC optimizers. Let me know what you think of that and go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see that test. But YouTube thinks you will like this video next, but uh, thanks for watching. We will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.